Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am here to describe a new topic called Jira Service Now Integration. Uh, so both the instances are hosted in the cloud. So the Service Now instance is hosted in the cloud and the Jira instance is hosted in the cloud. So we are integrating between two the two instances. One is the Jira to the Service Now. The data flow must be happen. So whenever Jira story will be created, that same data should be posted into the Service Now instance. So let's see how it's work and how we can configure those things. So this is basically the Jira outbound. So let's see how we can do those stuff. So if I go to the Jira instance, this is my uh, sample scrum projects where uh, I have already created one story. So let's create from the scratch. So if you see this, this uh, instance is hosted into cloud. So if you want to create any story, just click that plus sign. Here the projects is defined the sample scrum project. Uh, so whatever projects you available uh, in your instance, the project will be def uh, you can choose. And this is the issues type. Uh, we have that story, task, bark, and epic. Those those types of story. And inside there, there is a summary options uh, where you can provide any summary. For the time being, I'm providing that um, demo story. created now you can provide the priority here so i'm providing the priority equal to low right now and then once i click the create options it should create the story in the jira so once the jira is uh, the story is created into jira side the same data must be flowed to the service now instance so let's see how it it works so once i click the create options if you see that new story ssp26 is created and the story uh, is the demo story created and i have not provided any description i can provide that new description so first time i created and second time i am updating so both the options will be uh, must be posted into the service now instance let's see if i go to this table this is my service now instance uh, this is the custom table where i am posting that um, all the jira story here so once I click the all options, the same name will be created that SSP26, the same name will be created as a title. Once I open this title, you can see the priority is low, uh, the SSP26, issue type is story and status is to do, correlation ID is something and the summary is demo story created, demo story created here. And the description is the new description that I provided description here. So that's how you can get, flow the data from the Jira to the service now. So now let's understand that how you can do those stuff here. So to do that things, uh, I'm just quickly go through those stuff here. So if you go to here and type the script address, click the new and create a, a new script address because you are going to uh, get the data. So I'm providing the name equal to taste and creating one request here. It's already present, so space Jira. I'm providing the same name here and clicking the save options. And uh, there is no resources right now. Uh, so let's create one resource called post. So just guys, hold on for the second. Uh, this instance got stuck. Okay. So once you click the post and here you can provide that create. So once you click that and now in the script, you are going to write some code that Jira data is posting here. So now you are going to see that in a log. So I'm providing that GS dot uh, log and then I'm going to uh, parse this data to the JSON format so request dot body dot data I am doing that only so whatever data will be flowed from the Jira we will get that data here and then from here if I want to post in my uh, any of this custom table incident whatever you are going to do you can do so our scripted rest is created now if I go to that explore rest API and uh, 
in this rest api if i add some field called test and value is new test what happened let me see first so once you click the send options the data should be uh, go to the scripted rest here and then uh, this scripted rest will store in the syst uh, system logs and from there we can see that data so see that system log if we type logs here and go to this uh, scripted log statement here is the data and you can see that the test news to uh, test this data is coming so our scripted rest is created now if we want to uh, uh, generate or if you want to post the data to the service uh, the if you want to connect that jira to this uh, service now then you have to go to this jira instance and you must have to be the uh, jira administrator not the any other administrator if you have the jira administrator you can configure the uh, way for share so that the data can be flow so for that once you go to the settings options here go to the systems and then if you go to scroll down there is options called webhook so once you go to the webhook options there are few uh, configuration webhook already done you just have to provide your webhook name call uh, new uh, maybe service now snow whatever name you want to provide this will be your url uh, what url you are going to provide so your current url is this so you just copy this url and paste here once you put that you can provide any uh, description that's a optional story you can provide the jql query that is that jira query language you can leave it if you want uh, blank and if you choose the create or update so once the story will be created or updated that uh, data should be flowed to the this uh, endpoint that is your service service point so once that is done uh, you just click the create options so your webhook is created now if you go to their options and go to the sample projects and create a new story the data should be flowed to the service now and the data should be dumped in a uh, json format in your uh, service now instance so new story and so once you click the create options and the ssp227 is created and if you go here in the logs you will get that data in a json format so let's see what is the json content have so once i put this uh, here this uh, data and go to the plugins js tool and js formatter i can see this this many data are coming so in a json format once the story is created into the jira site so let's go to the plugins js tool js viewer uh, you can see that uh, you are getting few options one is that timestamp webhook event the event is this issue is created and then there is a user form in the user you will get that uh, user details or else it means that the whatever user is um, creating um, who are creating those details so that is the user details if you go to that issues there is a uh, all the fields are present and if you go to the change log you can see the what items are getting changed and all those types and priority just leave it for the time being if you go to the issues you will see the uh, the id the link and then key that is ssp27 and inside that fields all the fields are present and then if you go to this uh, like all the fields are present here like if you see that uh, our pro fields name is the priority and the priority is the medium right now if you see that uh, like description uh, we have not provided but summary let's see where is the summary if you type summary so in the summary you can see the new story is created this uh, this statement is coming inside the field so that data needs to be uh, posted in your service now instance uh, like um, if you want to post in in your uh, particular table like incident table you can directly post based on this data json data
so that's you have to do just query the incident table we'll get the data and post it into service now that's how you can configure the jira story thank you very much if you have any doubt you can uh, comment in that video description or else i i will put my number mobile number in whatsapp mobile number you can directly contact with me thank you very much thank you for watching the video